our religion had taught us. There was nothing beyond our town's border. We were taught that our village was the only habitable place on the planet, that all lands beyond our borders were damned to hell. They told us we were God's angels, and the barricades weren't to keep us in. They were to keep earth's demons out, and that he who would rebuke these teachings would be to slander God. Nobody ever dared to leave. You gotta realize we'd had no concept of time, technology, or the outside world at large. We were just isolated, controlled by an ideology. And so one day I'd woken up to a nightmare. The streets of my town were covered in the blood-drained, unconscious bodies of my former family members, friends, community. And so immediately out of fear, I ran to the church as quickly as I could, which had only brought me to a far worse stomach-turning revelation. Standing at the center of two rows, filled with unconscious churchgoers, was none other than my pastor, blood trickling off of these protruding fangs in his mouth that I'd never before noticed. I said, Father, what's happened to you? What's happened to our people? And that, as he lunged at me faster than my eyes could see and gripped around my neck, he'd said back to me, well, can't you see? It's all part of God's plan. And as his grip intensified and I accepted my fate, he pushed his fangs onto the thin skin of my neck, and as I braced to feel the piercing of my skin, the crack of a gunshot sends my parasite of a pastor flat on his back. As I'd looked over the other side of the church, I saw this strange wide-eyed man holding some kind of weapon I'd never seen before. I was just so confused, I'd said to him, yeah, you killed my pastor? He goes, look, there's things about this place you don't understand things about this town you don't understand. Now there's about 20 more of them in the courtyard, ready to take your head off. If you want to live, I suggest you follow me out the back. And so as he's hauling ass, I just said to him, what part of Somersville are you from? I don't recognize you. And, and what happened to my pastor? And he'd said to me, um, pal, I ain't from Somersville. And I'm going, well, what are you talking about? Nobody lives outside Somersville. And he just goes, look, pal, they got you a bit confused. There's a lot you don't know. I saved your ass. Sit tight. I'll explain everything when we get back to New Orleans. And I go, w w where are you taking me? We can't leave the borders of Somersville. The atmosphere out there isn't habitable. We'll be burned alive. There's, there's demons out there. He goes, brother, the only demons you need to be worried about were back there in your hometown. Can't you see that? Didn't you see what, what they done? And I'd said, M maybe it's you. You're the Antichrist our text had spoken of. He goes, are you insane? I saved your life. And then I'm going, I I've never seen you a day in my life. You show up from beyond the borders of Somersville, where demons reside. It must be you. You did this to my people, to my pastor. He goes, look, you are confused. You've been brainwashed. Okay, there is an entire world out there outside Somersville. I said, no, no, that's impossible. There was a mass extinction event thousands of years ago. God gave the last of his angels Somersville as a sanction. And out of fear of my life, as we were about to cross over the town's border, I grabbed his gun and pointed it at him. He goes, whoa, whoa there. But, but you're safe now, put it down and relax. I said to him, everything I have been taught my entire life has told me that beyond that border awaits hellfires that will burn our bodies from the inside out, said, I don't know who, who you are, but if you think you know something I don't, you'd better start talking. And that's when he goes, all right, look, I'm from New Orleans, a couple hours south of here. When I was a kid, my grandfather used to tell me stories about a place called Somersville, this town thought of by most people as folklore, but he'd sworn it was real. He told me there was this ancient breed of predatory people, almost vampire-like, they lived off of the blood of humans like you and me. And so they'd created this town called Somersville. They'd moved in a controlled human population that they could oversee and feed on to fulfill their need for blood without causing a disturbance all over the country. He's going, oh, my grandfather was obsessed with these stories, with these things. He, he taught me how to kill them. Said I'd need to know how to defend myself if I'd ever encountered one. Then one day, he'd went missing and his journals full of all this stuff did too. I spent years looking for this place. Couldn't believe my eyes when I found it. Just wanted to kill 
every one of the, the son of a bitches for what they'd done to him. And at this point, I'm just going, no, 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 no. No, what, this can't be. I said, are you trying to tell me that my, my entire life is just some kind of sick game? Friends, family, we're just a walking blood bag for these things. And he goes, I'm telling you, I've got a hell of a plan. And he shows me this book, as he says, before I busted into that church and saved your ass. I found the journals they took from my grandfather. So if you'd get that gun out of my damn face, I'm gonna teach you how to kill a goddamn vampire.